What is going on guys? Matt Downs with Daily Grind Fantasy Sports to help give you the edge for this NBA 6 game Tuesday slate. Cannot wait to break it down. If you guys want to be entered into the $25 giveaway that we do every single Friday, please like, subscribe, and also comment your favorite overall play for this slate. If you guys are brand new to this channel, we provide both free and paid content for all daily fantasy sports across all sports. If you could please show your support by hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, and of course smashing that like button for all of our future NBA content. If you would like to know more about becoming a better DFS player and taking down that big GBP, head over to www.patreon.com slash dgfantasy for more information. On Patreon, we give advanced cheat sheets for all DFS sports on DraftKings. These cheat sheets include updated projections, ownership, and our overall favorite plays from slate to slate. We take it a step further by teaching you how to play fantasy sports like a shark, by showing you where the best leverage spots are to put you in the best spots to take down tourneys. Also included is our private Discord chat where you get to talk over the slate with everyone, including our coaches, to help build your lineups. Now let's go ahead and dive right into this NBA 6 game slate, but first we have to go over a couple of Patreon success stories here. We had a takedown in League of Legends again. It wasn't TJ this time, but he did get close. $5 into $175, $1 into $30, <clears throat> and then $16 into $25. This was TJ's screenshot. Turned $77 into $90, and then $50 into $111. We have some more NBA success, of course. $5 into $30, 10 into $20, and almost some near takedowns in that screenshot. $70 into $165 and then also some small man gbp takedowns which we always preach on patreon guys if you want to sign up now is the time to do it for patreon uh is the is uh one day past the first of the month so now if you want to grab the full value of what we have to offer uh now is the time to do it twenty dollars gets you access to all of our favorite leverage spots all of our favorite gbp options all of our favorite cash options for every single slate for every single sport going on right now now let's switch over and talk about this nba six game slate and as you guys know i always take a look at the injury report before we do anything else right now the Raptors are without Harris and the Nobi that will shake up things in Toronto will be paying attention to that picture here in a little bit Orlando is without Aaron Gordon now him being added to the injury report does shake up things here for Orlando we will be paying a visit to them here in a second Aminu and Michael Carter Williams are also out for Orlando with the Clippers Batum is questionable if he is held out we'll be paying a visit to them as well with Brooklyn all the stars are back for Brooklyn so all the price tags are a little too high for them um Claxton Dim and Shumpert are out for them. However, that game is right now is the highest over under on the slate, a 243.5. Just a crazy over-under. With Memphis, almost all the injuries are back. Uh, Jackson, Winslow, Valanciunas is questionable, so all the price tags are very expensive on them. With Indiana, everybody's back for them. With Portland, Collins, McCollum, and Nurkic are all out. Derek Jones is questionable, and this is also a very high pace game. Uh, with Washington, Nato is out. And then with Boston, we have Marcus Smart officially out. We will be paying a visit to them because they are in a pace of spot. Golden State, nothing really going on there. Pascal is questionable with Detroit. Killian Hayes is, is uh, still out. And then with Utah, nothing going on there. So let's start here in the very first game. When we take um, Anobi off the court, that gives a slight usage bump here to a couple of guys. Talking about Van Fleet, a 3.1% usage boost and a 0.14 fantasy point per minute boost that puts him to a 1.23 fantasy point per minute player and a 26.8% usage player. Uh, Siakam is just right there with him, a 26.2% usage, but he's only averaging 1.08 fantasy points per minute. So when you translate that over to the sheet, it looks like Van Vliet is the best value on this team. Right now at a 7.4K price tag, a 5.8 point per dollar value. Keep in mind, this is going to be a slight pace down spot, so only consider Van Vliet in GPPs, not for a cash uh, option right now. We have to see what ownerships do look like, but Van Vliet at 7 7.4k absolutely love him for gbps i also don't mind siakam uh does carry a high usage rate but just not a high fantasy point per minute player and then also kyle lowry at a 7.3k price tag i can see taking stabs at any one of these guys um anobi's minutes do go to somebody like norman powell he is questionable if he does suit up i do like him yet for another gbp option but not right now Switching over to Orlando, when you take Aaron Gordon off the court, it does a lot of things to this team. If we take a look at the usage here, Vucevic gets a 4.4% usage boost and a 0.05 fantasy point per minute boost. Uh, Cole Anthony, a 3.4 usage boost and a 0.04 fantasy point per minute boost. Ennis, Bone, Fournier actually gets a 0.15 fantasy point per minute boost. So... Aaron Gordon has a lot to do with this team in general. Uh, when we sort by usage, Vucevic, Fournier, and Fultz do stand out, but we know Fultz is not playing, obviously. 
So, when you translate that over to the sheet, we have Vucevic at an 8.2k price tag, a 6 point per dollar value. Um, pretty much one of my favorite options on the slate. He is only center eligible, and we know there's a ton of center options through any slate. So, I do like him right now. I think he's going to outperform his projection, and I am very bullish on Vucevic. Same thing with Evan Fournier. Right now, at a 6.3k price tag, averaging 1.18 fantasy points per minute at a 32 minute projection. I really do like him here. Also, a 6 point per dollar value. Cole Anthony, also a fan of NG. GBPs, and this we just talked about, not that bad of an option as well, if he does play over 22 minutes. Gary Clark is projected right now at 29 minutes at $3,300. He's definitely a hit and risk player, um, only averaging uh, 0.56 fantasy points per minute, so not that much of a fan of him. And Terrence Ross, also a GBP option as well at a 5.3k price tag. Looking over at the Clippers and Brooklyn, right now Batum is questionable. If he is held out, that does give a boost to a couple guys here, but right now Kawhi Leonard does stand out to me in terms of his price tag and the pace of this game. Like I mentioned earlier, a 243.5 over under is just absolutely crazy. Brooklyn plays no defense whatsoever. They definitely have to tighten things up. But with the Clippers, that does benefit them because they are going to be in a pace up spot. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. One of these guys should have a ceiling game, take a stab at one or the other. Right now, I am on Kawhi Leonard. I expect him to be relatively chalky. And this is going to be a battle of a couple superstars here with the Clippers and Brooklyn. Serge, ba Serge Ibaka, not that bad of a price tag. 6K. Uh, Reggie Jackson did come down. Marcus Morris, not in the picture that much anymore. Anymore. But Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are definitely on the top of my list here. I'm um, assuming that Batum does play. I'm going to be off a of majority of these guys except for Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. But if he does sit, then that's definitely going to give a boost to a couple of these guys. We will pay, pay a visit here on the live stream. Switching over to Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant. All, one of these guys always has a ceiling game. Um, it's a matter of who and, and which night has the better matchup. And it really, it's just a, in terms of luck, who has the who has the best game. But in big GBPs, you always have to play one of these three guys. Because like I said, one of them will have a ceiling game. Kyrie Irving does stand out the most right now. He's not afraid to shoot on this new roster. An 8.8K price tag. Um, probably the best value out of the three right now. I do like Kevin Durant at a 10.1K price tag. And also James Harden at a 10.9K price tag. I know, I know. You guys are probably looking at me saying hey pick one of these three guys for me to play give me the answers to the slate well the the, the real answer is i have no idea which one of these threes are, are going to to perform tonight so 122.25 a six point per dollar value for Kyrie irving is going to be my favorite but again it could be any one of these three guys and when you look up and down the rest of the list here none of these guys are getting that viable in minutes to to really show me that they are going to be a a solid value here for the same other than those three guys so it's just one of those three Kyrie irving will probably be my favorite here out of those three Memphis Grizzlies is going to be completely off of these guys until we get a rise in minutes. Um, their price tags are all very expensive. Uh, if I had to mention my favorite one, it's going to be Melton projected at 27 minutes right now, a 6.1 point per dollar value, but this is a bad matchup versus Indiana. Uh, anybody playing Indiana usually is in a pace down spot, and Memphis is a huge pace up team, so this will be a tremendous pace down spot for them. Switching over to Indiana, same exact story. They're all in pace up spots, so I do like their ceilings. Justin Holiday plays a ton of minutes. 35 minutes is what he's projected at right now. We, we got a price decrease on Miles Turner's price tag 6.8k also Sabonis 8.7k I do like them for tourneys I don't think they'll be necessarily uh, chalky but their price tags are very easy to get to in a pace up spot has high ceiling potential definitely going to be targeting this team for GBPs switching over to the second highest over under game on the slate Portland versus Washington um I like these guys, but I don't. All of them don't really pop on our on our cheat sheet right now Robert Covington a 5.2k price tag uh, does come out to a 6.4 point per dollar value, but he's been very lackluster to start the season. I still do have hope in him. A 5.2k price tag is very easy to get to. Canner has been coming down the price tag, and he does benefit a lot. Right now, he's a 6 point per dollar value. And then also, Damian Lillard on a 10 or at a 10.7k price tag is going to be probably the guy scoring all the points. So he's going to be my favorite player from this team. Um, it's going to be determining between him, the Brooklyn guys. Uh, and also the Clippers in terms of a pay-up option. I'm going to be favoring the Clippers. I do like Kawhi Leonard and the 9.2K price tag over Damian Lillard, but I do like him. He's a safer bet and a high over-under. Switching over to Washington, very confusing picture here. All the price tags are very expensive with the exception of Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook has been playing more minutes. Last game, he got 35. I expect him to play between 33 to 35 minutes in this contest, a 9.1K price tag. I think he's also a viable option. I like him and Bradley Beal for pay-up options, but again, all these other guys play below 28 minutes so not a fan of any one of these guys even though it is a pace of spot outside of big gbps detroit 
really no options here. Mason Plumley at a 5K price tag, but again, he has a very bad matchup here versus Utah. Utah, Rudy Gobert, we know, plays very good defense. So not a fan of this team in general. They all do have price decreases, but again, they're only projected to score 104 points. So not that much ceiling potential for their superstars. Jeremy Grant got a price decrease at $7,000. He's going to be my favorite GBP option from this team. But again, not too thrilled about this team overall. Utah is a 12-point favorite, so keep that in mind. If this does blow out, all these starters will be playing limited minutes. Rudy Gobert, though, a very good matchup at a 7.2K price tag. I actually do like him. A lot of center options, like I talked about earlier, a 5.7K or 5.7 point per dollar value. Also, Donovan Mitchell got a huge price decrease. A 7.6K price tag was 8.4 last week. So, $800 in difference. Coming back from a small injury, a 5.2 point per dollar value. Um, those are going to be my two options from this team. Everybody else did get a price increase. So, going to be off of these guys with the exception of Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell and bigger GPPs. Last but not least, I want to talk about the late night hammer here. I do like the Boston Celtics. You take uh, Marcus Smart off the court, and it actually does a lot here. So, it's a small sample size, so keep that in mind. Take this with a grain of salt. It's about a game or two of sample sizes. Kimball Walker gets a 5.2 percent usage boost and a 0.39 fantasy point per minute boost jalen brown gets a 4.7 usage boost and a 0.19 fantasy point per minute boost um, also jason tatum gets a two percent usage boost and a 0.18 fantasy point per minute boost so when you translate that over to the cheat sheet here kimba walker is still projected only 29 minutes he's going to be limited in minutes probably going forward the rest of the season so not a fan of him in terms of upside but we know what he can do in limited minutes i don't hate him for value but i also love jalen brown so much more averaging 1.5 Five four fantasy points per minute without Marcus Smart on the court. A 6.7 point per dollar value. I think he's one of the more obvious plays on the slate in terms of a mid-range value. Only 7.8K. Got that huge price decrease. Take advantage of it now. Projected 35 minutes. I think he is a very good option on the slate. Same exact thing for Jason Tatum. The only thing I don't like about Jason Tatum is he's more than Jalen Brown. So take a one or the other stab here. I do like Jason Tatum for GBPs and I even don't mind him in cash. Both of these price tags are very easy to get to. And the over-under is at a 226, which is the third highest on the slate um, so definitely am a fan of the superstars here from boston Switching over, last but not least, to the Golden State Warriors. All GBP options. Right now, Draymond Green is questionable if he is held out. I'm going to be on these guys. But if he does play 4.9K, is very intriguing. A 30-minute projection. And whenever he is chalk, he seems to, to perform very well. Uh, just works out that way. And a good matchup versus Boston. So a 6.2 point per dollar value is going to be my favorite option on the slate. But I want to hold off on talking about these guys until we hear more about the injury report a little bit later on in the day. And that will wrap up my breakdown, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do hit that subscription button, notification bell, and, of course, smash that like button for all of our future NBA content. With all that being said, have a great rest of your day, and let's cash.